Today I will put the Canon R6 once more to test. This time I will test it uh, for vlogging and for that I will use two lenses uh, that are 24mm focal length because I don't have any wider lens. Um, so and uh, during the day, uh, on the daylight I'm using this 24 to 105 L series lens also known as the kit lens for the Canon R5, one of the best kit, kit lenses on the market. This one is an f4 lens. This one I will use it, I will use it during the day because I also have a variable ND filter. And this one is a 2015 lens is a Sigma 24mm f1.4 art. And this one is an f1.4 as I said and I will use it during the the night or in the evenings or when there are low light conditions. I have to mention that I also installed the firmware update for the Canon R6 1.6.0 which was released by Canon in uh, July this year and besides fixing some minor issues there is also a point that says enhances the performance of movie digital IS. It stabilizes the image when taking selfies or working shots using a wide angle lens. So this sounds like something that will help for vlogging. So without further ado let's get out and test the Canon R6 for vlogging. Just notice that I am at 35mm so I will put it on 24 put it on 24 and I lock it so you see a lot more now so I think at 24 in this mode because there is no crop here besides the 7% of L6 in 4k I think it's enough in the frame, you don't need more than that. Cool, so I will change the image stabilization mode right now. So now I change the digital image stabilization mode to on because it was off. And uh, I think now there is a bit of crop. Because uh, I don't think I see the same frame as before, but also the image stabilization should be better now. I mean, the image should be better stabilized. On this lens, the 24-105 L series, this one also has image stabilization, so now it's working together with the IVs. So I will switch to the last mode, I think it's enhanced, and then see how it looks like on enhanced mode. So, the enhanced mode, this one has quite a bit of crop, I can see only my head in, in, <coughs> on the display, but also should provide the best image stabilization. So I try to go a bit quicker to see how the image looks like. So what do you think guys? Which one is the best and which one would you use? I will have to go and check in post and I will give you my opinion later. So I think this one, just by looking at the display, this one offers the best stabilization, but I think the 24 
is not wide enough. I think 18 or maybe 20 millimeters would be a lot better for vlogging. My arm is now fully extended and I don't see much from the environment. Now I switch off the digital element stabilization and uh, you can see how was quite a, it's quite a big difference. So this was the test with the this lens, the kit lens for Canon R5, the 24-105 L-series F4. And now let's wait for the evening and uh, go out and test with the Sigma 24mm f1.4 Art serial lens. location with the Canon RS6, the Sigma 24mm f1.4 EF lens, Sigma Art I think is the name, 15 degrees outside, not too cold, not too warm. Um, this lens doesn't have image stabilization so I will rely only on the IBIS, so on the in-body image stabilization of the Canon RS6. Without further ado, let's get it tested. So this was only with IBIS, without any digital stabilization, wide open at f1.4, Canon C-Log3 and ISO 1600. So right now I will turn the digital image stabilization on. Digital image stabilization is on, so... Stabilization should be a bit better. There is a bit of crop, but not something that is unusual. All right, so now Let's put the digital image stabilization on enhanced. Digital image stabilization is on enhanced, heavy crop as before with the other lens, but the autofocus is working perfectly even though we are in a, at night, only using the street lights. So let's see. of the environment but uh, if you have logging maybe you are interested to have the focus on you and not so much on the environment but for my test it should be a little bit more I think now on the hands mode it's too much crop with the 24 millimeters lens so to wrap it up I personally because I have my widest lens is 24 millimeters I won't use the enhanced uh, image stabilization even though it offers the best image stabilization in my opinion but um, it's doing a crop and uh, for me it's uh, way too much I think if I will if I had the I would have had the 60 millimeters RF lens that would be a lot better but I have only the 24 millimeters lenses these two that I just showed them to you and uh, I will probably continue to use them without this digital image stabilization so I hope you found this video useful, don't forget to like it, subscribe to this channel and I will catch you in the next one. Take care!